so hello guys uh, i am sahil sharma again and today we will be talking about stripe step to pay feature what is it how it's work and how we can implement this feature in our flutter applications so this stripe tap to pay feature allows contactless in per in person payments directly on our smartphone devices without the need of extra hardware so here we are not talking about making payments through our mobile phones but instead accepting the payments through the card with the help of nfc so this feature of uh, stripe is yet available on limited countries like on iphone uh, it's available on only few countries in full uh, complete mode and in beta mode in other countries and on android it has some bunch of availability so this function works on so these features works on a technology called nfc so nfc stand for near field communication uh, which is a specific form of rfid or radio frequency identification which means this technology works on radio wave signals so uh, you see in your card there are like little wires in the form of coil that is connected to the chip so these wires are act like antennas so these antennas are responsible for sharing the or transmitting the radio frequencies on both ends so like the reader and the card form say active passive communications so the reader is active uh, because it has a power source and it can initiate transaction on its own whereas the card is passive and it need to be near a active source to initiate a transaction so whenever the uh, reader that is whenever the reader is active it is looking for the card near its very short range uh, that is about maximum 4 to 5 cm so whenever the reader detects the card so it asks for the information about the card's card holder details so these details are stored in a static form in this chip so Uh, these details includes the card holder name the expiry date and the other details uh, this detail is shared whenever you uh, uh, swipe the card uh, to in the reader but when you tap the card not only this data is shared but this data is combined with the other transaction other transaction details to form a cryptogram so cryptogram is a unique strings of number Uh, that is used by the issuer bank to validate your card so whenever the reader is looking for the card uh, it there is some transactions of details between them first so the card asks the reader uh, about the uh, details about the transaction so these details are combined with the details of the card to form to form a cryptogram with the help of cryptographic key so this key is then sent to the stripe servers and then stripe servers uh, send these details to the other uh, payment cards and then those payment cards share that details with the bank and then bank uh, validates the whole validate the card and the transaction is initiated and when the transaction is initiated it then confirmed confirmed with the bank and is and this for, uh, makes the complete payment flow so there is a whole lot of things working under the hood so we don't have as a developer we don't have to do much this stripe has provided us a stripe sdk terminal that take care of almost all the things we just have to integrate the few steps and the whole process will be done in few steps in a forever flutter applications so this the this step of this this step to pay feature has various edges over the traditional uh, swipe uh, and the uh, insert into the reader uh, transaction the way so first of all it is convenient so there is no extra hardware needed the user can directly make payment to the uh, smartphone devices it is quick so within the 2 second the transaction got complete and we also can track the uh, we can also track the revenue how the uh, businesses at different locations are working uh, and this is also secure uh, because uh, when we uh, swipe a card or insert a card into a reader there is a direct physical contact so there is a chance of attacks that 
uh, that can be made. But when we tap a card, the cryptogram is sent, which is very unique and very hard to replicate. And uh, that that makes our transaction more secure. And with, uh, without the need of extra hardware, uh, we can use this transaction uh, feature at many locations. That also gives us edge to make use of this feature at various locations. Like before the tap of tap to pay feature is inter introduced. So uh, like after the tap to pay feature is introduced, the 50% users were those who have never used readers. So that make a huge difference when the tap to pay feature was introduced like two, three years back. So, so, so now we will come how we can integrate this tap to pay feature in our Flutter applications. So first of all, we need a Stripe account with the uh, with the loca with the eligible locations only so we have make we to make sure the account is registered on the uh, uh, locations where this feature is available so after making an account uh, they will provide us with the various api keys like uh, security uh, like security key and other keys so we will make use of those and to integrate this feature in our Flutter application, we will be using max type ter terminal package. Uh, it is an open source package and it is built over the uh, Stripe terminal. And uh, then we will using HTTP to make some uh, HTTP request, permission handler, and Flutter.env to take care of the uh, uh, environment files. Uh, so here are step to step integration process, like how we can integrate this feature in our Flutter application. So first of all, we need to initialize the terminal. So to initialize the terminal, we need to make some HTTP request uh, with with the with the secret key. And after receiving the secret key, uh, the Stripe will provide us with the connection token. So after initialize the token, we need to fetch the locations. So before fetching the locations, we have to make sure that we have added and registered the location on the Stripe dashboard to, to, to keep the track of the readers and the transactions. So we can add locations on with the, with either with this Stripe API or on the directly on the dashboard. So once the location is added on the dashboard, uh, we need to discover and connect to the reader. So, so here uh, for the development purposes, we are we will be using simulated uh, reader, and tell, and we will after discovering the reader, we will connect with it, and after connecting with the reader with a location, we can create the payment payment intent. So the payment intent holds the information about the transaction like amount and in which currency we are making it and what's the payment method the user have selected. So after creating the payment intent, we can then call the collect payment method. So the, uh, the Stripe terminal provide us with the collect payment method that we can call to directly initiate the transaction and it, it will show us the, uh, the UI for the transaction. So after the transaction is completed, it will then confirm the payment with the the with the user banks and the whole process is get done so we can uh, we can we will i will now show you a little demo video like how it uh, looks like in a flutter application so here i am initializing the terminal when the app loaded and after the app loads i uh, look for the reader and connect with them by pass like uh, connect to them with the it's in is, is simulated mode uh, after the connection is complete uh, we can uh, create a payment intent and call the collect payment method so this is how the collect payment ui looks on the uh, ios side so we are using it in a simulated mode for the testing purpose or development purposes. When we use in the production mode, uh, the UIs look uh, different. So, so it will, the tap on the screen will initiate the transaction and it will be processed completely. And we can keep the track of the transaction on the Stripe dashboard. Here you can see 
all the transaction record is like made here these are not uh, real transaction like i have uh, told you earlier these are the dummy transactions so so like like this we can very in few steps we can initialize the tap to pay feature in our flutter application uh, and not only tap to pay feature we can use the stripes other features also with this tap to pay so here are few challenges that you might face during the integration of uh, integration of this feature in your application so like for the apple apple does not allow directly to use this feature on our own uh, applications so to for so to use this feature we need the entitlement request from the apple development team so for that we need a developer account and we need to fill a form for asking is asking apple for iphone at entitlement request and then uh, they will ask some questions and after the form is submitted they will give us the development entitlement uh, that we can use in test flight or for developing and testing purposes and for pub publishing we need another publishing entitlement for that we have to record a video and we have to uh, meet another requirements and after that they will uh, give us the pub publish publishing permission and our app can only then published for the ios and also when i were uh, using it for android there was a jet jetify conflict so but jetify do is this uh, this this changes the our old libraries to the latest android x so so this stripe terminal there was some issue with that on their side so it's it work only when this is off so we can uh, make this off on the gradle properties and make it android enable jetify to the faults uh, so this is it guys so here so with this very simple step we can integrate uh, this tap to pay feature in our application so i have made this uh, uh, repo you can look into this repo and you can see yourself uh, how this is done so this is it guys so i will be very happy to take any questions